it's uh, September the 4th, it's 2023, I'm going to be your host tonight, Dana Durford, everybody's doing well, this mad, mad world we now live in, known as nuclear power, I checked for my thumbs up today, I refreshed the page, what's the thumbs up, 37? Zen. I slowed that down to one quarter of the speed, trying to figure it out. And then I slowed that down by half again. And so this is how they skew your numbers. Are you looking at it? Now it fixed itself immediately after that. And it's been normal ever since. Blessed her hearts. Yeah, they were just funning with us. That's what it was. Oodles and oodles of crazy nuclear. I can't call it news, propaganda, I guess. To get through, let's go after it. Latin America, the Caribbean, are not immune to the damage of Japan's nuclear emissions. It's hard to comprehend that they've been releasing it for 12 years when you read this stuff, but they have been releasing it for 12 years. The Japanese side has discussed five options for the treatment of the nuclear contaminated water, including injections into the ground, solidified in the landfills, landfill of all places, steam emissions, which is a constant dirty bomb. Like it's absurd to even have that in the equation. And discharge into the sea, which is what they've been doing for 12 years straight. The buildings are actually gone. They're destroyed. I'll show you some of the documentation shortly. Steam emissions. That's a perpetual dirty bomb. What else can it be? It's radiation. For some time uh, now, dignitaries, scholars, media, social groups, and people in Japan, South Korea, Russia, Australia, <coughs> Malaysia, the Philippines, Cambodia, Fiji, and the Solomon Islands have been opposing the Japanese side's discharge of nuclear contaminated water into the sea. So notice they're not talking about Australia or Canada or the United States. They're talking about Asian countries. Because the scam they got against the Asian countries clearly demonstrate Asia knows nothing about nuclear. Latin America countries, American countries in the Eastern Pacific may be the first victims of the radioactive fallout. First victims, eh? It's disappointing that we ever made it to this part of the de-evolution. The building's actually melted down. This is Neptunium-239, by the way, it decays to Plutonium-239, covering the planet in just 20 days. There is no models of tritium. The models are cesium, plutonium, neptunium, um, xenon, and you name it, but uh, sulfur peroxide, hydrogen, buckyballs, but not tritium. Tritium is new to the lexicon. According to the studies by relevant scholars, nuclear contaminated water flows it is estimated the radioactive material will spread to most of the Pacific Ocean within 70 days. Pretty disappointing to be on this planet, you know. Uh, the plumes covered the planet in this model in 19 days. This is the Norwegian Institute for Air Research. In a few years, will the Ecuadorian white shrimp, mackerel, the Brazilian oysters, lobsters, the Argentine, Red shrimp and squid, the Peruvian sea cucumbers and anchovies, known to the Chinese people to be safe for dinner tables after being contaminated by the nuclear contaminated water. Water, not airborne, like, which is what you normally would talk about. It's been going on for 12 years, not 12 days. I am sure that the people of Latin America and the Caribbean are no stranger to the Godzilla film series, which was officially released in Japan in 1954. 
less than 10 years after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. As well as the nuclear contamination caused by the testing of nuclear weapons by the United States in the Bikini Atoll, where it is currently in 2019 study says over a million square kilometers is too radioactive to be habitable. Ironically, today, nearly 70 years later, Japan's nuclear contaminated water is beginning to spread the nuclear threat around the world, beginning, beginning. We'll contest all of these assertions in a moment. It should be noted that in recent years, the United States, which has been highly concerned about the development of fishery industries in Latin America and the Caribbean, had vowed to combat illegal fishing, protect fishery stocks and marine ecosystems. Uh, they're one of the biggest polluters from radiation. They have the most reactors. All of it's hemorrhaging ultimately into the environment and certainly the oceans. Sorry. Reactor one detonated. Let me fix, fix the rest of that before I start clicking. Who knows how many of these are noise makers. So you had reactor one. Let me go back to that. Reactor one detonated. Reactor two detonated and blew up. Reactor three detonated, blew up, plumes covered the planet in 27 days. That's the stump, the ghost. They should have razzed that right to the ground. There's nothing left. That's the same reactor. The fuel pools would be at the top of the buildings and they have decades of reactor cores because you don't have a repository. The same thing with reactor four. So we got reactor one and two, three and four, and the fuel pools have all gone kaput. They're gone, baby, they're gone. So what they decided to do was put these fake covers on it rather than razz them to the ground like you should do, right? They put these fake covers on it, and this is the cover of what the building looked like, and then they pretend they're in the buildings getting the fuel out of the pool. Um, by the way, if you took two of these, which are under these two, whatever you want to call them, these contraptions, because there's nobody going in there. If you took, now this is, that top part there is the bottom part right here of the framing for the Kevlar sarcophagus for reactor one. So if you took reactor three and four, which should have been razzed right to the ground, and stacked them on top of each other. They're no taller than the bottom part of the infrastructure for reactor one. The fuel pools were at the very top of the buildings. This is the official picture, and that's the official picture of reactor three. So to put these contraptions, don't physically touch the stump of the buildings. Right, they don't physically touch reactor three, that one. It's the same thing for, as you can see, they're not physically in contact with the destroyed buildings. But then they're pretending they're up there walking on top of the buildings, despite the building doesn't even exist anymore where the fuel pool and the reactor's core would have been. Then they can't claim they got the fuel out of the pool. They done the same thing as reactor three, they done here at reactor four. See that bottom part? That's as tall as what the stump is. So then they built it up till it's this high and then pretend that they're actually in the buildings. when they're obviously not. And so when are you going to make a stand? Like really, why are we sitting in silence? Japan's fishermen and locals seeks a halt to the Fukushima water release. Uh, it's been going out for 12 years straight. The fuel pools are actually gone. Each of them are like a hundred Chernobyls. They cover the planet. And this model, 19.5 days. Um, but in less than 19.5 days, in just 10 days, half the planet was covered in radioactive fallout. Japan's fishermen locals seek halt to the Fukushima water release. 
a halt to the water release. Uh, we'll follow the lawsuit, 100 fishermen and locals living in the nuclear wasteland for the release from the nuclear, which is, like this happened right away. This happened in about 10 days from the radioactive fallout, not from the pouring into the ocean, but from the actual brutal, perpetual radioactive fallout that covered the whole planet. The oceans worldwide were symmetrically irradiated. Discharging treated cooling water, you can't treat the water because it's particulates. If you put them together, you end up with a small chain reaction that'll burn a hole through anything you try to contain it in. But also, you can never get near it again because you have a chain reaction. And remember, a chain reaction doesn't need oxygen. <coughs> the government failed to keep its promise of gaining agreement from fishermen before taking such a decision for the release. But the release has been going on non-stop for 12 years, the buildings are actually destroyed. Despite them on the right hand claiming it's not, it's actually destroyed. The release to the ocean can never be tolerated as it brings about further suffering. Well, we're, we've been um, actively trying to educate you for 12 years. The water release is generated, if, which is a long time. It's a very, very, very long time, a very, an absurd amount of work for the last 12 years. The water release has generated fierce backlash from China, including a blanket ban on the Japanese seafood imports. Japanese government offices and businesses has also been bombarded with thousands of nuisance calls from Chinese phone numbers. China knows what the buildings look like. China and Taiwan and South Korea are playing the Asian countries against each other to manipulate them into thinking of only tritium and only of the last few weeks instead of the last 12 years. In other words, they're pretending nothing got released until August the 24th and that it's only tritium. This is very, 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 very dishonest, very dangerous precedent. The Japanese government officials have made every effort to reassure the public the fish and other products from the nuclear wasteland is safe to eat when it's not. It can never be safe. It's a nuclear wasteland. Tokyo a wholesaler business has been shipments of items like oysters, sea urchins, and splendid Alfonso knows to some Asian neighbors more than half of their normal sales, and he said, we're having it quite rough. We're hearing from our clients that their customers aren't coming in anymore. That the Japanese government should have done more to communicate globally the safety of the water. Well, he couldn't communicate it without raising the alarm, and he couldn't communicate the truth. They can only communicate a lie because that's what they've been doing for 80 years, let alone the last 12. But this is just a model of 16 days of radioactive folly from the French government. So now that's all considered uh, oops, and the official story is nothing happened. Only tritium, and don't worry, it's in a thousand tanks, and they're just starting to release it after 12 years, which is a ludicrous insane asylum type story. There are some people, even within Japan, who say they're scared. But yet, here's South Korea comes out with another story, which is this one here, South Korea, now saying there was, sales remain steady. But the other South Korea story says it's down by 60%. And so they won't hesitate to cut your throat. These are the biggest medias too. They won't hesitate to cut your throat. It's what they do. That's what they're, the only thing they're actually good at. Seafood consumptions continue to be stable uh, according to the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries. 
which of course is not. It's, it's, they're saying it even increased more sales since they started the alleged dumping, which is obviously the tanks are empty. And you got the president there holding up a crab in order to promote somehow uh, that's trust to science routine right there. Japan boosts fishing sector aid after Fukushima water release. Fishing sector aid. Fishing sector. So they jumped it by a, uh, I can't show how much, I forgot to get the exact number of the differences, but it's now up to a billion. I thought it was around, or maybe it's right there, an extra $141 million onto the existing half a billion dollars or something. Well, it's, a, it's a billion Canadian, that's what the numbers are now, 934,000 Canadian or $6 American, aimed at minimizing reputational damage. So the money is aimed at minimizing reputational damage. There's a lot of that. That's what they do for a living, apparently. Their reputation, uh, Rupert Winfield Hayes, is pretending he's in the fuel pool at the top of the building that, sh that don't exist, and whatever's left should have been razzed to the ground. There's nothing there. <coughs> 20, or 12 years after one of the world's worst nuclear accidents, well, we've never had four nuclear meltdowns and eight fuel pools disappear before. It's actually worse than all nuclear meltdowns combined. Chernobyl looks infinitely better than whatever that piece of remains is, a stump as I call it. Going to begin releasing, began releasing, treated. This is pure brainwashing. Very, 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 not subtle, very dangerous. Water, it's not water, it's you drink this stuff, your skin falls off right away, but don't worry, you'll be dead in a few minutes, it won't hurt too long. It was safe. Of course it's not safe. You think they're sending in all the homeless, and destitute, and victims of the society and the immigrants don't speak the language because it's safe? Japanese government officials made every effort to reassure the public that the fish and other product from the nuclear shithole wasteland are safe to eat. yippee ki -yay, motherfuckers. Fukushima nuclear disaster, understanding the tragedy and its aftermath. Whoever this was eating a sucker, when the sucker was finished, he stopped typing. In the year 2002, TEPCO faced international rebuke for failing to report cracks and other material failures in the nuclear cores over 200 times during the 80s and 90s. Ooh, you just read it out. TEPCO, which is nationalized and doesn't even exist anymore. Because <coughs> they went bankrupt right away, right? Because they're on the stock exchange. The government now has to take them over. To meltdown slash no S. Why wouldn't you put an S there? You do realize there's more than one knucklehead, don't you? The failure to move the heat from the reactor cores, oh, did you put an S? Meltdown, it's meltdowns, it should be, became inevitable. In normal circumstances, zirconium tubes containing the nuclear pellets should not interact with steam as cool water would maintain temperatures below the danger threshold. However, in the absence of cooling, temperatures soared, causing zirconium to react with steam generating hydrogen gas. The three massive hydrogen explosions shook you into one to four. There was four explosions, for God's sakes. Destabilizing the plant, I guess they're excluding reactor two by the sounds of it. Destabilizing the plant and releasing radioactive materials into the environment. Like really, meltdown doesn't get any more than a, a pronoun hydrogen Three massive hydrogen explosions. These are the meltdown causes the explosion. 
the explosions are the meltdown. Releasing, you you mean hemorrhaging, right? I know you do. You, you know, there's no reason you would be that sinister. You would only say something like that, is it? Like the plume covered the whole freaking planet in just 20 days. The materials, radioactive, they don't call that material, they call it fallout, they call it isotopes. The materials. In 2012, TEPCO admitted that fear of litigation and public backlash prevented them from taking preventative measures. So they let it melt down rather than have you angry at them. <coughs> that makes sense. That's the first time I heard any truth, probably three or four years now. The Fukushima disaster scale was catastrophic, illustrated by Shitko announcement that the fuel debris removal might extend to 2050, or give or take a few thousand years. Highly radioactive water continued to be discharged into the Pacific Ocean. Oh, and invisible plumes that covered the planet in just 20 days and never go away. The International Atomic Energy Agency, I laugh because it's ludicrous to call them an agency, identified a conflict of interest within the Japanese Ministry of Economy as a root cause as it both regulated and promoted the nuclear disease factories themselves. But the International Atomic Energy Agency is both a regulator and a promoter of nuclear energy themselves. The World Health Organization, which is the same organization, International Atomic Energy Agency, and can't, how can you use them as evidence? Fukushima's place in history is worse than all nuclear meltdowns combined. Shares no authority with Chernobyl as any nuclear disaster at the same level of severity. Jesus. It's four reactors and eight fuel pools, for goodness sakes. Chernobyl was a brand new reactor. Most of it was graphite, not pure uranium, pure plutonium like Japan's. Each Japan's fuel pool was equal to 100 Chernobyls, and there's eight of them missing. Ongoing research seeks to understand the disaster's ecological impact on the region. Almost too much to bear, isn't it? When you when you hear that kind of deceit and dishonesty, and de and contempt, because because that's contempt. Let's face it. Ah, uh, so much contempt. You can't even keep up with it. Um, so we're trying to research to understand the disaster's impact in the Fukushima region. Well, hell's bells, buddy. We've done research expeditions from Vancouver, British Columbia to Alaska for six years. And that was no picnic. I'll tell you that. That was no picnic. This is what the average day looked like. In the, in the morning, and here's what it looked like in the evening. It looked hellish. The species to your left are actually exterminated due to the enormous amount of radioactive fallout, of course. But we've done the research for six years, four to five months a year. We're currently trying to do research right now, but uh, we're having endless breakdowns because our equipment is old and we don't have a massive uh, amount of support, but we have a little bit of support that we're unbelievably grateful for. It's, it's unbelievable how lucky we are to have any support after what the nuclear industry got done to me for 12 years straight. I, like all my times I was on the ocean doing the research, I was under siege on the internet. They attacked everything that mentioned me was immediately under siege. The species are gone, they're not coming back. We went back six years, it didn't return, they're not coming back. They're not coming back. Not only that, 
Japan continued to grow food in the nuclear wasteland right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation in communities that are abandoned where you can't even stay overnight, let alone for the day. And that that's in the middle of 14 prefectures that were banned by 55 countries for over a decade. Like we've done the research and we're on the East Coast doing the same thing and we're seeing the same thing. This thing is an extinction level event. The contaminants, cesium, strontium-90, and tritium, the three main nuclear contaminants they're claiming are cesium, strontium, and tritium. This is a ludicrous, absurd, ludicrous assertion. This is an insane assertion. The biggest product, byproduct of the radiated fuel rods, hang on. Well, you always got to make me work so hard. Scumbag nuclear industry. Come on, man. There we go. Uh, the great Dr. Raymond Gilnetti, who kills beagle puppies and dogs all day for the Navy at Loveless Respiratory Research Institute in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Studies show that curium isotopes are the major byproducts in the radiated nuclear fuel rod. And curium isotopes you need lead shielding 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium. The Democratic uh, leader, Democratic Party leader in South Korea, which is the runner up to the current party, uh, Yoon's party which is pro-nuclear and reversed the previous administration's uh, phasing out of nuclear. On the very first day, too, they went and got their pictures taken at a nuclear plant with all the degenerate scum workers. They sent a letter to 88 United Nation nations to voice concern. And these are the same people that promoted nuclear. They're, they're, pump, they're uh, protesting tritium instead of the 12 years of brutal emissions. Does anybody really think they don't know the difference? Lee said his party, well, this is meant to create this controversy about tritium. And so all along we've been saying there's a possibility that Japan is going to concede, which is all uh, a false flag basically, so they're, you know, they're allegedly dumping the tanks, and the tanks are empty. They built them all in 2013, and all you got to do is go into my into my playlist, and you'll find a stupid amount of documentation on the tanks that back up that assertion, with the documentation, because what's the fun in that? So they they want to stop Japan from releasing the water. So the theory was that Japan will say. Eventually, okay, we're not going to release the tritium into the ocean. You people win. And uh, we're just going to boil it off or something into the environment. That's basically what they would say if they did that, which is a perpetual dirty bomb. But the tanks are actually empty. It's nonstop into the ocean the whole time. Because you can't put, you can't filter it. Every nuclear plant out there would have a uh, ELP system in it, right? To ask for their cooperation, stop Japan's Fukushima water release, ensure the safety. Not only that, if you filter it, the numbers, they're spraying it over reactor cores. So it's fuel particulates from the melted pellets. And what that means, though, is by the leader, if you had a leader in your house, everybody would be dead in the morning. If you put it there when you went to bed at night, nobody would wake up that morning. And if you fill the house up every day for a million years, everybody was dead the next morning, or basically 20 minutes. You can't filter it because the filter can, can't be changed. You can't put it in the tank because you can't build any other tanks. And you can't put it in the tanks because the particulates, when they gather up, the neutron bombardment, the gamma shines, the x-rays, everything else, will cause a criticality, will burn a hole through the tank, this water will come out and you have to leave the site permanently. 
You can't store it in tanks. Right? They had 50 tanks shift last year during an earthquake because the tanks were empty. Tanks were built in 2013 to manipulate the consensus, and it worked. The London Convention, uh, is meant, which is United Nations, is meant to promote the effective control of all sources of marine pollution. Actually, no. Um, the London Convention, I screwed that up, did I? The London Convention has a waiver for certain stuff. Nuclear is one of them. I'll get, I didn't do it on this. There's so many of these stories showed up, I don't, must have done it on the next story. Larry Hogan may still run for president. And they say, maybe Rahm Emanuel could be Larry Hogan's vice presidential candidate because he's a brave soul who ate the fish from Fukushima a few days ago. So you got people calling for him, not in the story, but in the comments section, which is probably them anyway. And Rahm Emanuel says, we're going to eat, we're going to all eat the fish from the nuclear fish. What? Who dis he's the guy who destroyed Chicago. He's the guy who basically made the phrase, uh, never waste a crisis popular. It, it was, a lot of people were aware of the phrase line before he mentioned, but he, he made it into the social media. Yoon's approval rating fall 35.4%. Now, that wasn't due to Fukushima, apparently. The impact of Fukushima's discharge of water was negligible. That had nothing to do with him, Paul, they say, right? <laughs> Stem cell jab could be key to defeating radiation poisoning. Jab is the right word, too, isn't it? When you see what they've done during the, the scam they had for two years there. Stem cell lab could be key to defeating radiation poisoning. Israeli startup is working on injection to prevent and treat acute, acute, acute radiation poisoning at nuclear disaster sites by using uh, cells from the placenta donated by women after giving birth. So, but like, your organs melt. If you're working at a nuclear meltdown, the harm is from the massive neutron bombardment, the beta rays, the gamma shines, the x-rays, um, the alpha rays. They melt your organs. You can't repair that with stem cells. It's completely dishonest to say something like they just did. Developing the jab, that's but the only truth to. It can be administered to first responders, so they want to manipulate people who don't know any better. I say, don't worry, if you get sick, it wasn't because of radiation, because we gave you stem cells, so it couldn't be radiation. That's what they're up to. Exposure to high levels of radiation is a lethal dose. Your organs start to melt. Don't impair their functions, they, they start to melt. Uh, however, they boost the production of red and white blood cells and platelets, creating an optimum environment for recovery. Well, it's more appropriate for everything else than it is for radiation. For some radiation, maybe, but generally, the best we've seen out there was DCA. It hacks away at hard tumors. It deflates hard tumors by 70% in the first three weeks. So you're no longer, and big tumors, so they're no longer applying pressure to veins or organs, right? Which normally would, you would need intervention surgery to relieve the pressure. It can be redone with just a couple, and it happens, start happening right away. And what it does is just restores your, your blood and your platelets and that to the normal. And so they naturally now can fight off adversaries in your immune system, for your immune system. 
saying they they can take them before they get to the site, and then they're uh, Spider Man and the Hulk. These people should be arrested for even suggesting that that was true. Animals dosed prior to radiation exposure were 18 times more likely to survive. Yeah, and none of none of the same rats had died during the nicotine experiments. Right? Because nicotine was safe, even though it wasn't. And and he said, well, we put nicotine on the skin of the mice, and no mouse has ever died from it or got sick. So therefore, it's safe. But by the way, they put 100, um, 8,000 chemicals in cigarettes. You got more to worry about than nicotine, I can assure you. They have the, and the stem cells have the ability to change form and function. But like what they were saying about acute radiation sickness, I tell you, you can't, you can't um, mitigate against that. It's actually so efficient that from a single percent, uh, we can get enough cells to treat more than 20,000 patients. So it's a big incentive for you to believe that lie. I understand if you said something else, but when it comes to radiation, it's ludicrous to suggest. And they show you a picture with the Medusa Reactor 3 in the background, which is probably the first picture we've seen of the reactors in six weeks, right? Europe is full of old reactors and they can melt down at any time. Leave it up to the Israelis to cut each other's throat. At present, there was no other treatment for radiation poisoning that uses stem cells taken from a placenta. The half a base firm signed a three-year, $4.2 million contract with the United States of America. Not with Israel, but with the United States. How come with the United States? I wonder. Typhoon. Uh, doesn't injured after a storm swept Taiwan, which means the reactors were in harm's way. It's the first to directly hit the island in four years. And it hit speeds of 124 miles per hour, so it would have been gusting 170 to 200 miles per hour. And they, they got nuclear power plants in very vulnerable places on top of that. Their nuclear waste ought to keep it at a canning factory for sardines and salmon. <coughs> it, it, it's disguised as a canning factory in um, Orchard Island. Got your garbage bags? Let's go. Tokyo luxury hotel rates soar faster than New York and London's. Why would anybody want to visit London? No offense to the people in London, but you got, what is it? 10 million cameras or something in London? Go outside of London, go somewhere where the people are actually people. Not that London are not people, it's just, uh, that was the wrong way of putting it. It's just that London is a police state and fascist too. Tokyo luxury hotel rates soar faster than New York or London. So they manipulated people into going because the when is yeek, right? Weak? Yeek. <laughs> Weak. Draws in foreign tourists who don't know any better and are going to be fed Fukushima food at all the restaurants and, and uh, corner shops. And you get what you don't want. Papua New Guinea demands Japan pay for their water testing due to Fukushima dumping it into the ocean, right? But uh, what's wrong with that story, anybody know? Um, plume forecast for North American Europe, 
up to March 24th, Francis IRSN. Government radiation levels on the U.S. West Coast spiked to a million times normal. That was a study of a million to 10 million times cesium-137. And so it's, we've never heard tell of anything like that in history, anywhere. And, and that covered the entire Northern Hemisphere. Um, that's Francis' models, right? Cesium immediately damaged the heart muscles. That's why you've seen so many spontaneous deaths by cardiac or heart attacks, and everything from teenagers to sports athletes to um, your friends and family and loved ones and relatives because you're being assaulted. So this model at this stage is 20 days right there of folly. That's 20 days. And the numbers we're talking about is a million to 10 million per cubic meter. So Papua New Guinea wants Japan to pay to test your water. And of course, it's been going on for 12 years. With the release of wastewater from Fukushima, it is now imperative that all countries and global agencies independently monitor water qualities. Minister Wang asserted, he added, well, we trust the briefings and data provided by United Nations International Atomic Energy Agency. Like, you have to be insane to trust him. You actually got to be insane to trust the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's, I mean, my goodness, they're, they're claiming only tritium is going to come out of four melted reactors and eight missing fuel pools. Japan Embassy, no protest on treated water release. China marks World War II victory. <clears throat> so they took something that they have a lot of problems acknowledging and just flipped it to Fukushima. Because being sinister comes natural to these people. Their parents were sinister. Degenerate pieces of shit. And their parents were degenerate pieces of shit and their children will be degenerate inbreed entitled pieces of shit. The Japanese embassy in Beijing reported no rallies near its compound to protest the Japs release of treated and diluted water from the Fukushima shithole. Officials at the Japanese embassy in Beijing said no protest against water discharge took place. Among a heavy presence of police officers, get all these police and they're, they're trying to stop you from being killed by them. <coughs> it's a win-win for them, isn't it? Anti-Japan sediments also tends to grow on other dates. Water used to cool the molten fuel at the plant has been mixing with rain and groundwater and Accumulator water is treated to remove the radioactive substances, but still contain tritium. Uh, and we hear this constantly all day, every day. It's, it's absurd to suggest that could be done. The plant operator dilutes it to reduce the tritium to one-seventh of the world's health organization. And on a lot of these stories, a lot of it is structures from every other story, the exact literally the exact sentences. And you see it every time over and over and over. More than a million fish die in South Korea. So this is one of the straw man arguments. Well, Japan just released it. Now fish are dying in South Korea. No, Japan's been releasing it for 12 years. When you read the story, it's not even that. Shanghai-based Japanese restaurant under fire for offering anti-radiation meals 
anti-radiation meals. And the topic sparked debate online with one related hashtag on the Chinese social media platform got more than 140 million views as of last Thursday. 140 million views. Uh, experts reported that the menu could run into legal issues because you can't you can't um, suggest that that might making false claims is against the law. If that was true, we have to close down all the media, right? Japan gains understanding from corrupt Jordan over Fukushima water release. Other fake media. Japanese minister, foreign minister, Hagasaki, on Sunday gained understanding from his Jordanian counterpart, Amar Safdafi, who's the furthest creature we come across over there from a human in a long while. Japan began discharging the processed water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant on August the 24th, <coughs> which is the same day they banned me from live streaming on YouTube and Rumble. And it wasn't YouTube or Rumble that banned me. It was the nuclear industry hacked their sites because I reformatted the computer. It made no difference. I reset the router. The router it made no difference. And it takes a long time to reset the computer, or get all your equipment back on it, get everything back up to speed. Oh man, what a disaster. So everything is stacked against the 8 million species and we're one of them. The industry has now made sure nobody can have a future. How are we gonna respond is the question. Well, so far the world is silent. We're the only educational program and there's no reason for people not to know. We've been at this for over a decade. Uh, over 2,000 presentations. DPK leader to send letters to 88 nations to voice concerns. How is it that they don't know the buildings are actually gone? How does that actually work? How can you look at that and say that they only started releasing a few weeks um, on the 24th last week. How does that actually work? Because <coughs> that's what's working. That's what they're doing. How, and how can the Democratic Party of South Korea, the second party, the biggest party there besides the party in control, not know that? when you have access to all the academics. Who, who cut our throats for the last 12 years, by the way? Runs counter to the London Convention. Well, if you look up the London Convention, and I have many times, there's 87 states or parties to that convention, which is the United Nations Convention. What are the purposes of the London Convention and Protocol? is to control the sources of marine pollution, prevent pollution of the sea through regulation of dumping into the sea of waste materials. But a so-called black and gray list approach is applied for waste, which can be considered for disposal at sea according to the hazards they present to the environment. <coughs> Get it? because you're going to get it anyway. Dumping out a gray list of material requires a special permit from a designated idiot authority under strict control and provides certain conditions are met or not. All other materials or substances can be dumped from a general permit has been issued. So all he done was figure out a way for them to make a few bucks off the dumping. There is no control. Right, they get paid for the permits. You get it? Tens of thousands gather and sold to protest Fukushima. Generally, they say it's only 200 at the rallies. 
Have we seen over 100,000? He said, the second since Japan started releasing the wastewater. Now there's been one every single day. Japan has started, really started. But uh, I'm confused, because when you look at the buildings, they don't even exist anymore. So how can you be starting now, when it started obviously 12 years ago, and then a bang? It started with a bang, 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 and a bang. Into the Pacific Ocean on August the 24th. No, it started on March the 15th and 16th in full swing at that stage, rather. Saturday's demonstration drew support from more than 80 civic organizations, four political parties, including the main opposition Democratic Party. Spreading across four vehicle lanes, demonstrated voice concern with chants and displayed banners and slogans, including immediately stop the Fukushima water release and denounce the Yoon Suk Yol leadership. They also asked for a ban on imports of all Japanese aquatic products. Why would you just ban Japanese product, aquatic products? For starters, they, you know, and South Korea have imported, I can't remember, around 22 billion pounds since 2011, by the way. But they're growing food in the nuclear wasteland, right alongside of one-ton bags, and putting these pictures up in the media and criticizing anybody saying the farmer's got to make a living too. How did we ever get to this stage where that was acceptable? How, how's that even conceivable? And you got 14 prefectures are highlighted on a map of Japan that are banned by 55 countries for over a decade. How, how come? They're not, and they're not banned because of tritium. Urging Korea's leaders to file a lawsuit against the Japanese government with the United Nations Conventions on the Law of the Sea. United Nations. The very last people you can ever trust. The worst, at the, the very bottom of the barrel is United Nations. One of the protesters told Radio Free Asia she was against the release and the Korean government for not putting pressure on Japan. I'm participating in the protest because I don't trust the Japs. I do not believe what they say won't have an impact, said a 23-year-old victim from South Korea. The Korean government should have pressured Japan to let independent scientists verify Tokyo claims. And the media will say that the International Atomic Energy Agency verified it, who's not a regulatory agency, by the way. Um, and they didn't take their own samples. They took samples from TEPCO, not independent samples. They were only there five times in 12 years, and all of them were this year to promote the soil and the dumping to promote growing food in the saw at the 30 million one-ton bags and promote the dumping that they're allegedly going to start, but it's actually been going on nonstop for 12 years. Many families like mine depend on the oceans for a livelihood would face serious consequences. Well, you'd have no idea. You have been, your media have done everything they can to cut your loved one's throat, and they basically succeeded. One of the organizers told the RFA she estimated the turnout was more than 50,000 people. And after the leaders addressed the main event, various groups marched in different directions across the city, disrupt, disrupting traffic. The rally went on for more than four hours, and everybody went home, sucked their thumb, and watched Oprah. The protest comes one day after Gallup poll Korea. Right? If they got something that works, they import it to every other country to skewer reality. Released a public survey that found three quarters of the Koreans were worried, very worried, that uh, Fukushima discharge would pollute the Korean Ocean marine products. And 60% said they were reluctant to consume seafood. I showed you an article earlier where they said there was no changes. That's a clever protest. They got the barrels on a, um, on 
a raised platform with coasters on it, and they're able to push it down the road. So it probably makes a lot of noise, so that's good for protesting. Tap Go has said that the controlled nuclear discharge adheres to the meticulous nuclear purification process and leaves everything but tritium. Uh, so it will be diluted below its regulatory standards before released. And many experts call for more independent verifications, alleging that a decision to release the water was reached through a process that lacked full transparency or any transparency. And don't worry, the UN Atomic Watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, has been monitoring the release so you can go back to sleep, eat your bonbons, and leave it up, leave it to trust the science. Rawr! Trust the science. To me, it acts for many and many. Science outweighs irrational reasoning. Uh, this is a professor of nuclear and quantum engineering. So and trust him, obviously. He's a professor, Dana. Nuclear and quantum engineering, Dana. Are you a professor in nuclear and quantum engineering at a prestigious university, Dana? No. Well, shut your mouth, Dana. Shut your mouth. Okay. I'm sorry. The discharge is like throwing a sugar cube of three grams into the ocean. You're a lawyer, Dana. You're a lawyer. He didn't say that, Dana. You photoshopped it. The discharge is like throwing a sugar cube of three grams into the sea. So if a nuclear reactor melts down, it's not even a meltdown anymore. It's equal to the average yuppie putting three cubic, cubic, uh, cubes of sugar in their tea. Like throwing three grams of sugar into the ocean. Uh-huh. That's pretty impressive. And that the total amount of tritium in the tanks is approximately 2.2 grams. And they're going to release 0 0.062 grams per year, Dana. You can barely see it on the tip of your finger. Stop your fear monitoring, Dana. But that's, that's quite the statement. I'm stuffed up a bit tonight, my apologies. So how do you only get three cubics of sugar, out of that, three grams of sugar? How does that actually work? And how can you say there's only 2.2 .2 grams got out of the buildings? This was a so cr this what started the whole thing about six weeks ago. I think it was July the 13th or something that that story came out. I thought the nuclear industry was going to get Stinkfoot to beat me up, to beat the shit out of me to your left there. He's a notorious pump for the nuclear industry, right? He says it's like a banana. Bananas gave uh, people an extra 865,000 people cancers a year after Fukushima. That's crazy, eh? I didn't know bananas were that dangerous. Well, it's not data. It's radiation from the meltdown. Oh, sorry. I kind of got sucked into the lies. <laughs> It'll happen to you, too. You had a million beckles of Xenon-133 sustained on North America, and another study of 20 million particles of iodine-131 covering North America per liter sustained. You had another study at Ottawa, Canada, of 220 million atoms per liter of iodine-129. Notice none of these mentions tritium. <coughs> I showed you the cesium-137 out of 1 to 10 million becquerels. Right per... Uh, cubic meter of air. Officially, it's 60 million. There's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored. Six, 60 million. In 2019, they made it to 105,000 sites. 105,000 sites loaded with 
one ton bags of radiation. And that they emit 30 million, they now denigrated that down quite a lot. They dumped their 14 million bags of grown food in it in Akuma, which is two miles away from the ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns. Anyway, um, that's what I got for you tonight, and we'll see everybody tomorrow night on the Nuclear Scumbag Show is back. Have a great night. We'll see everybody same time, hopefully, tomorrow night. Have a great day.